A major crackdown involving international soccer today. Two dozen FIFA officials facing charges. They are accused of corruption and bribery. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez with the latest. Today, a red card on the field for the governing body of the world's most popular and lucrative sport. 14 of FIFA's highest ranking executives charged with racketeering, money laundering, and more. They corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and to enrich themselves. The FBI and Justice Department accusing FIFA officials of taking more than $150 million in bribes and kickbacks over the past two decades, including in connection to this controversial decision. The winner is Qatar. The selection of the next two countries to host the World Cup, Russia in 2018 and Qatar in 2022. The U.S. had been the runner-up to Qatar, and the decision to hold soccer's biggest event in a place where the temperature can reach 140 degrees raised serious questions. Now, after three years of investigations, this morning, the arrests began. At least seven of those charged taken into custody at this luxury hotel in Switzerland, where FIFA officials were gathered for their yearly meeting. All set to be extradited to the U.S. as this morning, FBI agents collected more evidence from offices in Miami. We cooperate with them. We provide all the information requested by them. Four of those charged, including American Charles Blazer, who reportedly wore an undercover wire to record fellow soccer officials, have already pleaded guilty. And FIFA's president, who is up for re-election on Friday, is not charged. Despite all of these accusations, officials say they will not change the locations of the next two World Cups. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. With these allegations against the world soccer governing body, our local club says they'll follow this case closely. The integrity of the game is very important to us as, as a, a club uh, participating in the game and as a club putting on events uh, that, that people come and watch and companies sponsor. So we'll be watching that carefully. We hope that uh, the process uh, ends up elevating the game eventually. They do say FC Tucson is not connected to this investigation.